Good morning and thank you for joining me back in the space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. Every Friday, our theme is We Made It. Mindfulness tips to celebrate your week and emotionally prep for the weekend. Are you angry about something that happened this week? What springs to mind? Are you raging at someone? Did you scream at your partner? Did you beep your car horn? Did you fantasise about throwing your phone out the window? After a week of juggling our jobs and our personal lives, we don't always get to Friday and feel happy. Sometimes we're just plain furious. The thing is, all that anger might be hiding something. There's a great quote from writer Liza Palmer. Anger is just sadness's bodyguard. It's true in some, but not all occasions. Anger can be a substitute for other emotions. Sometimes people make themselves angry so they don't have to feel pain. And sometimes we're just angry. There's no getting around it. Other people can be dicks sometimes. So, how can we tell if we're mad or just sad? And how can mindfulness help us? Step one. Notice how it feels in your body. Let's get honest. You know how you feel when you're sad. Pay attention to the signals you're familiar with. Is there an ache in your throat? Are you struggling to hold back tears? Do you want to curl up in a ball? Look past your clenched fists and see if you're showing any other signals. Step two. Take a pause. For a lot of people, anger is explosive. Take a moment to pause before reacting to a situation. If your feelings have been hurt or your ego has been bruised, it's easy to react with rage. Try this. When you feel that explosive anger creeping up, go into another room. Put down the phone. Take a breath. Do you want to yell because they deserve it? Or are you trying to get rid of the discomfort? As the writer Glennon Doyle says, some people think of pain as a hot potato. We want to pass it on. We want to get it away from us. Step three. You can choose again. Forgive yourself for an outburst this week. It's not too late to re-choose your reaction. Say it to yourself. I choose again. I choose to forgive myself. I choose to admit my fears. I choose to deal with this together instead of pushing that person away. Next time you get a rush of anger, take a moment to ask yourself, am I mad or just sad? Name it. Don't shame it. Feel it and heal it. Sadness. It's all the rage, man. You've been listening to The Space with me, your host, Casey Donovan. We're back tonight with a mood-boosting episode. How to protect yourself from flaky friends taking the fun out of your weekend. Until then, space out.